Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing something that I don't think I've ever done before on my channel, but um, I want to set up one of my planners for 2024 and kind of figure out if it's what I want before the time actually comes. Now I won't be using it, but I can, if I see it, maybe I can say, yeah, this is what I want. No, that's not what I want. Things like that. So whenever I did my planner lineup situation for 2024, I did make some notes here for this and um, decide what I wanted to do. And I knew I wanted to use these inserts and I had these already in the binder, but I took them out because at the point of time when I had I just found that I didn't ever use them. I had this in there as well, and I didn't ever use it. But I am going to use it for this time. And these are some pockets, um, folders, that um, I had bought, I don't know how long ago. I have one of them in my, like, scripture writing journal that I'm using right now like let's see I can show you this is the one I'm using right now that Jeff and I made and I love it but if I'm going to use it for everything I'm not going to be using it probably next year uh, but this is the one I have in here that I stick things in actually let me go ahead and take those out because I may be able to use those today and this right here is what I put my prayer list in for that so I wanted to kind of it's got getting so chunky that I have to move things around uh, I wanted to stick I accidentally stuck too much in there I wanted to put it together so I can kind of decide yes this is what I want or no I need this or I don't need this much or whatever you know that kind of thing and right now I'm doing two scripture writing plans but I'm doing one in this book and one in this one and I want to have them both in one not have two if that makes sense I know it makes sense you understand um, but anyway that's what I'm doing now is I have two different books that I'm doing scripture writing plans in the one that I create and then one that someone else creates and um, I don't I just don't want to have two books I don't want to do that anymore if I can help it so I just want to figure that out and then I want to have a space for Bible study in here as well so I'm gonna put my little note over there y'all can kind of see it and I don't care if you see it because you've already seen it I'm gonna kind of try to set this up now this is the cover that I had my YouTube planner in, which is an Agenda 52. It's the inserts. Well, I had this. I've had this thing probably 20-something years. It looks rough. It, it's a mess. It has a rip right there or a cut or something. I stuck a little butterfly sticker over it, and I stuck this in here for me to use. For the rest of this year because after the end of this year I won't be using the Agenda 52 for my YouTube anymore and it fits just fine so that's why I stuck that in there um, I just felt like I wanted to do that so and this right here actually came out of that and I've been wanting one of these in in this you know to hold my place so I did that. Now this is the notebook paper that was in here with my YouTube planner, but I never used it. So I just left it in here for me to use for this, possibly. I don't know yet. Um, so I'm going to stick all these little supplies over here out of view of the camera, except the ones that are up there already. And I'm going to see how I want to do this. I've been using this binder part. I think I've used it. I know I've used it two years. I might have possibly used it three. I got it on clearance 
and I have definitely got more than my money's worth out of it. It's worked great. So, this is my thought. I'm thinking, because I know that once I put stickers in this, it will get kind of chunky, because my other ones always do. But, what I'm thinking is I can put, um... To June in here just put six months leave the other six months into in this oh I can't get it to do right if I don't do things right in the beginning anyway get that back in there and then Whatever I'm going to use for Bible study, I can put back into this too, like anything that I want to use. And that way, once June is gone, I can go ahead and either add the rest of the year to this, or I can take the first six months out and put others in. I don't know how it's going to work out. We'll see. But each month has like, I think I showed y'all this, but I'm not sure. So I will try to show you now. Each month, how about I do that in a moment after I get this done? I really don't know what I'm doing here. I really don't, y'all. Um, I'm just trying to figure it out all out as I go. Let me see. I'm going to take one of these. I don't know which one. I have three left, I think is what I have. Yeah. Because there was four in the package. I think I will use this one. I think that'll work best. I'll put that in there to have between I'm putting these back in upside down, but that's okay too. Upside down and backwards. So put that in there for between the one part, and then I'll put in the little papers. Put them on this side. Put the papers in. I don't know that I want to put these in. I just don't. I don't know yet. If I do, I'll probably put them in the front. Alright, so I'm going to close this up. Now, my thought is. Alright, so this is where I'll put in. I don't really know what I'm going to use this part for. Um, because I don't. I'm not going to put put in holidays and birthdays and all that stuff I may just totally change this side so I don't know yet but I'll put in I'll decorate my monthly even though I don't I know what I'm going to use this for now I think I will just put my scripture writing plan on this page like I have one that I can show you what I'm talking about because I've already got the one for next month made it would help if I picked up the right book not the right one. Okay, for I've got November's ready because I have to ooh, I have to decorate this week for it. Woman, where did you put it? Did I not put it in here? There's only one side of this. Where did I put my scripture writing plan? I know I printed it off and I cut it out. Don't tell me I have somehow lost it. Oh boy. I showed it to y'all last week.
I mean, after I, or whenever I did the video last week, I showed it to y'all. And I said I wouldn't need it for the week we're in right now. I'm doing so well with these. I don't know where I put it. I really just do not know. Let me look for that real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, so it was right where I put it, but it looks so much like the same color. It's super early in the morning. I've been up since really early too. Well, it's not super early anymore, but anyway, let me put this over here so I can put it back where I got it from. But my thought is I could put this here each month I could just have to make it this size which is I think five by seven is what I did but I could put it here every month and then maybe put some sort of like put November up there or something like that that's a thought I could do that for each month because I'm gonna make these every month anyway I'm gonna continue to make these so that's a thought Maybe I need to make myself a note. So, pull these out again. <laughs> okay, I'm going to write in paste, which we don't paste anymore. Do y'all remember the little, the white paste that had the stick, like from kindergarten? Yeah. I remember that and I cannot find it. it was Elmer's and I remember having it and smearing it on and getting it on my hands and I thought it was like gross but fun at the same time but see I could wipe these things the dark things out which it doesn't really look like you can see it through that the way I printed it but I could print this on sticker paper if I chose to and just stick it down and then put a monthly sticker here yeah, I'm thinking that's a good idea. So let me put this back where I got it from, except have it that way so I can see it because that's where I'm going to need it is right there. But anyway, also I'll be using this book to the end of the, of the year so for the scripture writing plan, which I never show y'all that. That's not my scripture writing plan, so that's why I don't really share it um, because it's not mine. But then again, maybe I should. I don't use the same one every month, though, the same person. It's just whatever I find that I want to write. Anyway, let's keep going. So I could put the monthly here, here each month and put, like, the month. Oh, that's a mess. Or deco. Wow, I'm not going to be able to read this later. right there. I'll have this video to reference, so it'll be fine. Okay, and then of course, I'll fill out the monthly with you guys, which I don't normally do that right now, but I'll do that. It'll be an extra video, just like my other two monthly videos. I'll just have this one too, and maybe I can use this. I haven't figured out what I want to use it for yet, but maybe I could use it for, um, well, scripture of the day would be kind of senseless since I'm going to have my other here. But, maybe I could write in the second script writing plan each time. I could write in that. I could not pull up 40 different little hearts. Um, maybe put that, the second scripture writing plan, or, I don't know what else. I could just do that. Okay, so then, of course, each day on this part, I would write in the scripture writing plan, and my grateful thought would go down here, where the notes part is, and I would cover up that 
it says notes. I wouldn't cover up the days of the week unless I had date covers, but um, I would cover this part that says notes, don't look back, because I don't need that. But my thing is I've got to figure out where am I going to put the second scripture writing plan. Do I want to put a piece of paper between each one of these weeks and write it the way I do now? Because the way I do it now is for the second one, I have it in this book for this time. And I've just recently started doing a second one again just because I feel like I need to. I just want to. And this one is from Prayer, prayerfulplanner.com. I've just recently heard about them or her. And I really like this. And they send you a free one each time. But I just stuck it on here the way I do mine. And then I don't date them. I just write down the scripture. And then I write down a little thought that I might have each day. Which what I think you're supposed to do with it is write down a prayer. But I don't date these. So what I'm thinking, and then I just use a little washi. I don't do any special decoration or anything. I just use a little washi on it. Sometimes I cut the washi in half. Sometimes I keep it full. Um, but I just, that's what I do with that. So I could put in like a sheet of paper that I have. Either the same thing that I'm using right now and have 52 weeks worth, so it'd be 52 days, or 52 sheets, or I could use this that actually comes with it, uh, it is for the Agenda 52 Planner, I could use this lined paper each week, so I know it's, and this paper I could use, like what I have in the back of this, but I don't know if I want to use that either. And this is not the same exact one. But. I might just use the dot grid. And like. Put one in. Each week. I'm going to write on here. Second script writing plan I can see if I like it or not if I don't then I won't have to do it again and that paper is the same size as this or it's really close anyway if it's not it's supposed to be the same size but that's what I I'm, I think I'm going to do that. Do the second script writing plan. And then the whole month I'll have the thing. You know, all the stuff. And then it's got a little notes page. And what I could do is just do, like, my thought at the end of the month or whatever. But what I really think I'm going to do is put my prayer list here each month. Like, if you guys ask me to pray for you or something like that, I could do that. I haven't decided for sure. Um... I'll most likely use it for prayer more than anything else. And it's not like I can't go back each month. Like, what I could do is do the prayer request each month in this spot. And then if someone, you know, tells me my prayer request has been answered, I could have it on here that it's answered. Or, like, maybe I'll put a line in, and I don't know yet. But if it's something that I'm still praying about, I could carry it over to the next month. So that's my thought about that part, and doing the whole thing like that each month. And um, I think that would be a good way to use it. I haven't exactly figured it all out. Y'all see that, right? I'm going to keep this out so I can add back to other... Alright, and then this pocket, this, this space, I really don't know what I want to use the pocket for because I don't really have anything to use the pocket for at this point. What I'm using the pocket for now is my little prayer request book, but this book is good and everything, but it's got so many other things in the book 
like it's got a place for addresses, notes, and birthdays and all of that stuff. I don't need all of that. I just need a space for prayer requests. So, because I'm not using any of the rest of it. This is just like a part of an old, old, old planner that I used to have. But I could put the things that I have right here inside of that folder because this I've been using for several years and it's starting to tear up. It was something I got for free years and years ago. But I could stick these stickers, which I won't need the tabs anymore. Sorry, that's my alarm to take my medicine, which I already took before I started so that I wouldn't be disturbed and then I forgot to turn that off. But <laughs> anyway, I have in here like the months like that kind of thing, which I don't need for the tabs, but I could use this for like the monthlies. I have used a couple of them. And then I've got little stickers like this that I write down the scriptures on sometimes. And then I've got some date dots. So I could put things like that in that folder because I use those things. I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but I think that would be a good idea to use it because this is a very functional thing for me and I have no problem with it but if I want to stick to writing two scripture writing plans a day I need more space okay so which I could do the same thing with the other one but I really want to just keep 2023 in that all right so this is my folder it only has the one pocket. So then I thought on these little pages is where I could write, do like Bible studies. Because I enjoy doing Bible studies, but I'm not sure, um, like, I don't know if I want to have it in this as well. Or if I want to have it in two places. But I'm thinking that if I have it in here... All together, it will be just more sensible. It'll make more sense to me. And I can always add more pages to this. But what I'm thinking is I'm going to set up a, this little, um, this goes with the Agenda 52. That's what it's made for. This little pocket, pen pocket, pencil pocket, whatever. I can stick certain things in there like my white owl. I can stick, I only use black and red pens for doing my scripture writing. So, that's what colors I definitely need, but I'm thinking that I could use other colors when it comes to my notes for my Bible studies. So, back here will be Bible study, and I, that's what I want to try. If it doesn't work out, I have something else that I'm thinking about doing. I've learned about... The way a lady is doing word studies. I've been looking into that. Let me find her channel so I can tell you. Um, her channel's name is Black Mountain Plans. She has an Etsy shop and she does all this awesome stuff. So um, I just thought that it would be something that I would want to use for, um, anyway, it would help me to do the word studies the way she does them, or similar to the way she does them, because it really seems awesome. But I was thinking I could do the Bible studies here, and I was also thinking about, oh, well, I could do word studies on these, but then they have this stuff and all that, which... Honestly, it doesn't really matter. They're cute. But it's not business. It's not wishes. So I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. I'll decide for that part. So maybe I need to put on here word study and just kind of play around with it. But the word studies would not be an everyday thing. It would be whenever I felt like I come across a scripture that there was a word that I needed to dive into a little bit more and the Bible studies 
would be daily though. So that's the thing with that part. I hope this is making sense. I feel like I'm all everywhere. And then the pockets, like there's a pocket in the back. And then there's this pocket and then these. I don't know what I'm going to use them for. I thought about putting like my post-its. Like I have some more. But let me get them out of here. Which side are you on? Yes, I'm on the right side. I have these clear, well, translucent. Um, what is on that one? Something got on that one. But I have, actually, since this one's messed up, I can use it for an example. But anyway, I could put my translucent. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and put some in there. I'm going to put them this way. I think. Yeah. Um, my translucent. Can you speak? No. Post-it notes, sticky notes. And see, whenever you write on them, let's get something else. Let's just write here. You have to write on them with like a permanent marker, pen, whatever. And whenever you write on them, you can still see behind them. And you don't have to worry about, you know, covering up what's behind. And I do like to use stuff like that for Bible study and stuff. So, I could have that and I could just have this marker not there, though. I would have it in this. This is why I only want to put six months at a time in here. And then I could go ahead and set that my little that doodad. Okay, I could put me one of my clinas in here because it's what I use most days for writing my plan. I don't really want to put my red pen in here yet because I won't be using this yet. But I could go ahead and have that in there. I could go ahead and have one of my Tombos in here. And also like this little ruler. It came from Daily Grace Co. I don't know if y'all can see that very well because it's gold and everything. I have another one that did not come from Daily Grace Co. But it doesn't have anything on it. But this one says Seek First His Kingdom on the back of it. I could stick that in there and have it for whenever I'm wanting to use. I use it for different things. Anyway, I can go ahead and have that in the front here. And be able to use it for what I wanted and I also have let me get the little box where did I put the box there it is I have these which these are not what I actually in, wanted in the beginning they're not what I thought they were going to be because honestly what I thought I'm just going to leave them in the package and I'll show you what they are but I'm going to have these in this, like that. But I thought that they were highlighters, like stickers that stuck all the way across. And I thought, well, that'll be better than using an actual highlighter in my Bible. There's a gnat. And it's back. Or I'm dreaming. I don't know. Nope, it's real. Go away. It's because I have only my big lights here. Anyway, I thought it was going to be like a highlighter sticker that goes all the way across. And I could use that in my Bible and it, I would never have to worry about bleed through. And I could, you know, highlight passages in my Bible. Well, it turns out it's only sticky on part of it. So it's great for marking places. But it's not what I wanted otherwise so I am still on the lookout for that which I did I have done some research now and I found some tape that is um, I'm not gonna waste that I know it's ridiculous but I found some tape well actually I'm gonna show you what else you can do with this 
and um, this marker I believe is the one that came with it which is a CD marker no it came with these but you can um, write on this that's weird that's so tiny if you can write that tiny you can write on this so I'm going to still use them. I'm not going to waste them. I'm just not going to be able to use them for the purpose I wanted them for. Ooh, if you want to write on that, you better hold the other side. They are useful, just not useful as I would like. And also, after this dries, you can. it doesn't come off. But you have to let it dry, the permanent. But that's what those little things are, those little highlighter sticky note things. I'm going to leave that there. I'm not worried about it. Um, oh boy, I had one of these in here too. I hope I did anyway. Yeah, I had three. And I could also put other things in that that writes black or, you know, whatever color I decide that I want. I don't really know what else, though, that I would use this sidebar for. But I could possibly use one of these for like word study and stick it in the front the only thing is it's like a it's like this you have to tear it off so if I really want to use it which honestly I don't understand why that's like that because they go in here I mean what are you gonna do take it all the way out to take it off every time Maybe I'll just take them off of there or something. I don't know. We'll see. That's something else I'm still a little bit not sure about how I want to use. But these I have, they're, I don't remember where I got them from, but they're little tabs. I don't remember if they're sticky or not. I don't really know how I'm going to use those either. Other than I did think about like whenever I start a new study putting one in like let's just say they're not sticky what I thought they were sticky why would they be oh my goodness y'all this side is sticky they're cut wrong they cut the wrong side they cut the non-sticky side. Are all of them like that? That's just weird. No, these are right. These are sticky on the right side. But these are not. I don't even know if I can get these to work. Because you can see the shiny side is... Let's test. Okay, I'm gonna just test and see. Um, I don't know how I want to do it though, because if I put one in on this paper, I don't want to. I don't, I don't want it to be irrelevant, and I don't want it to be wasteful either. So maybe I'll just put one in that's, this is a similar color. Okay. I don't, who knows if it's even going to work. But then this is going to be sticky. Weird, man. I have to put something over that. But let's see if this will work with a double-sided tape. I don't remember where I got them from. I've had them for years. And I thought, why am I just sitting here not using them? Maybe I need to put some tweezers in this other. I always do this at my desk. I don't know why I need all these things. But I did think about if I wanted to not do it. Nope, it's not going to work. The double-sided tape is not going to stick to it. The double-sided tape is not even going to stick to that. Nope. It's not going to stay on it. So... I can't use them. I mean, you can't use it if you can't use it. 
Oh, that didn't go all right. I thought I had it all right, but I guess I didn't. Maybe that's why I haven't used them. These are the only ones that's right. Alright, I'm not going to throw them away yet. If you have any suggestions, let me know. I'm going to just keep those right there. But anyway, I thought about tabbing these. But the favorite, I don't know if I would use it or not. But these are not thick. These are like really super thin, like paper. So I don't know how well they'll work. Anyway, I've wasted a lot of time of yours today. Or used a lot of your time. But that's what I'm planning on doing. Oh, that's not going to work. This part may not work. It might be too much. Or I might not have it in there in a way that's sensible. I think the whiteout may be the issue. I may have too much. That's going to be bulky weird. I may have to reevaluate that one part. Because... I don't want it to be weird. But like I said, I don't know what I'm going to use these this these pockets for other than this one thing. But I probably will stick something, even if it's just something cute in there. And I do want to go ahead and have this in and move it every week for the daily part, you know, so I can just flip to where I need to be. Alright, so that's going to be how my new faith planner is going to be for 2024. As of right now. We'll see if it changes. Thank you guys for hanging out with me and figuring this out with me or whatever you did. I don't know. You were here. You were moral support. So, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell so you be notified when I upload. I don't only do planner videos. I do all kinds of things. Most importantly, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing. And remember, don't take any wooden nickels. And be sweet.